I have made like three to do apps with React and I'm feeling pretty confident about my React skills. So today I thought I'll put them to the test by having three React questions that will get increasingly harder from easy to medium and then hard. That is the plan, that is the idea, but first we have to warm up with a little React quiz on V3 schools. I will leave the link down description if you want to do the quiz along with me and uh, let's just get started. What is the correct command to create a new React project? Um, npm create project. I always, always mess this one up. I think npm start. React component names must begin with an uppercase letter. Uh, yes. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I got only 52%. I thought I knew something, but clearly not enough. I must study harder as he, uh, as they say here. Please write what percentages you had. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I thought I knew more. Okay, round one. Let's look at the first question, which I stole from the Ben Awards and Clements interview. And the question goes like this. Is I want to start off real easy, get you warmed up here. Could you make just a counter for me? I want to see like the number zero on the right and I want a button and I can press that button and it increments to two and then increments to three and so on. Okay, that is the question. That's the easy one. Let's turn on the stopwatch and let's do it. So uh, let me go NPM start. I'll delete everything here. I'll say H1 test. Okay, it seems to work. Yeah, a counter. So we, have, we need a button, press me. Cool. We need a counter, so we say const. And because I'm using TypeScript, I'll say this is a number. Then we need to set a on click to count plus one. Then we have to display it. So we'll say count. Okay, we start at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Let's move on to the second question, which again, I stole from the interview. It, the question is at 320 and it goes like this. Skills here. <laughs> and so what I wanna what test out next is hitting an API. What I have here is a random user API. I don't even know what data it gives back to us because I haven't used this recently. But what I'd like you to do, just so we can see what data it gives us, is could you fetch this API and then maybe just display as a string and react so we can just you know see what the API gives us. Okay, so we have to go to this random user API and we'll see this JSON thing it returns. We basically just have to fetch it and display it. So let's do that. We'll create a function fetch data. Again, I'm allowed to use Google, so fetch data react. You can use fetch. So let's do it's gonna const data and we're gonna fetch from uh, this URL. Uh, we're gonna log it real quick. And we're gonna run it, fetch data. What does it return? It returns a response. Yeah, we have to transform it into day JSON. Once JSON, you know, the JSON data. Uh, we have to await it as well, right? I don't know. Okay, we get the result. Results and then zero. Oh, results. Okay. We get that, we get a object with all the data. I think that we don't need the second await. Let me remove that, does it still work? Oh, no, we need the second await, so that's fine. Display it, so we'll say this is data and set data. We'll delete all this. Data one, this is bad, but I'm trying to be quick. <laughs> and then we'll say set data to data one. Um, let's log data, but after we fetch it. Oh, yeah, this is an issue. Uh, we only needed to fetch it once. We need to stop doing that. Uh, let me shut off and then turn it back on. Let's you let's put it in a use effect so we only call it once. I always forget use effect react. I always forget how it looks. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, like this. And then we'll import it and then we'll just put all of this inside of the use effect use state at the top and now if we log 
the data it's undefined only run once ah we don't call it whoops fetch data okay oh well it's it's getting called twice um i think this is because of the react strict mode so i'll just comment it out for now so if we save the index and then we save this and we refresh okay yeah we only call it once now and now we can just display it we'll actually do a loader thing so we'll say identified question mark we'll say h1 loading else we say loaded okay and now if we refresh it's gonna say loading and then loaded okay now that it's loaded we're gonna display it here so we'll say data dot uh, what does it return we want to only display the name and the image first dot last i'm doing something wrong oh we have to do this name dot first okay it works but we're getting a typescript error um uh, TypeScript ignore because uh, I'll add a little empty space. There's probably a better way to do it. And here we display the name. So every time we refresh, it's going to display a new name image. And then the source is the data that thumbnail. Why does it does not like it? Um, oh, because we have to wrap it in a uh, in a div or this empty thing and now if we refresh it's gonna load the image and the name okay now it we show what they want and this will be question three currently i'm at 16 minutes so we're progressing well so we have the results and what i'd like to do is add a button here to load more results the api if you put this url param page one, page two, page three, it'll give you the next page for the uh, load more. And we can press that button and what it'll do is it will you know, grab another user and it will display them. So basically we have to go to this URL and now say question mark and then say page one. And then we're gonna load more. And then if I say page two, it's gonna load the next page. I need to add a button that says load more. And then we're gonna load more users and just display them all the same way as I did here. Let's first add a button. Button, and we'll say load more users. Then we'll put a on click, handle click. And it's gonna call that. Okay, for now we don't have that function, so we'll make it. Let's just test if it works. I'm clicked. So if we press it, it should say I'm clicked. Cool. Make this function outside of this. We'll put it here and we'll say that it takes a URL. Then this is going to be the URL. Um, TypeScript is giving me an enter. I'll say as string. Uh, or okay, he doesn't, doesn't like it. I'll say here, string, to do it like this. For now, I'm just going to add a TypeScript uh, ignore as well. Uh, I, I'm still learning TypeScript, so uh, um, now it should still work because we're going to run the use effect, which is going to run only once. So if I refresh the page, it's still going to load and all work well. If we click handle click, it should add it on the data. We're going to make this an object and this is going to probably break it. Okay. Um, we're going to add a log so we can log the data for now. It's all looking well. It's not going to display this because this is an object. This shouldn't work. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it works. Okay. It doesn't work because we have an array. So we should actually map this display each posts. Um, name does not exist on never cool we break something again we have an object that only has one um why does not oh because we don't add a return yeah that's the problem i didn't add a return and then we're gonna add the fragment thing and then i'm gonna copy what i did here i'm just gonna copy it back in and now doesn't work again oh because we don't have to we'll just rename everything that says post data to post uh, we have this url now so we're gonna so we're gonna call it uh, we have to have a page counter page set page 
uh, zero. And now when we click on load more users, we'll just say fetch data with this URL. And then here we'll add the dollar sign thing and we'll say page. So now we're gonna fetch the data, then we're gonna wait on the response. We'll just say set the data, uh, make the same array with the previous data and the new response. Type error, so I'm guess, <laughs> gonna do a TypeScript ignore for now because we're trying to save time. So now if we call, we should just show more and we do not oh we actually I quickly forgot we have to set page to page plus page one so on every button press we're gonna increase uh oh right i have to do this we have to include all the previous data and then yeah okay now it should work yeah oh my god okay yeah now we can load as much of users we want yeah let's look at how they what they ended up making that way now I can spam this button and I never break the page. If random data equals undefined. So they did from something pretty similar. He seems a lot more complicated. Maybe I did it too simple. Do as much error checking. Um, and I think they also use we just a library. I think that's it. That, that was were the three questions. I think the second, uh, the third one wasn't that hard. So maybe it's gonna be easy, medium, medium. It took me around 36 minutes. Uh, yeah.